Hello people of YouTube and welcome back. So um, I've got a few moments to myself and uh, I thought I'd just do a quick collection video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these and I was last doing handheld um, Nintendo stuff. So now we're going back onto the console stuff and what better way to start than the 8-bit. Now the NES is where it all started for me. Um, I remember getting a NES on the back of a um, classified advert. Um, and it came with a box of like full of games all loose games however um, and then I carried on collecting and when the Super Nintendo came out I even told my parents I'm happy with the NES because there's still loads of games I haven't played yet so I'll get it in the future and it's cheaper crikey I was a good boy <laughs> um, but yeah um, I then sold obviously sold everything got older and I, when I started collecting again I actually started collecting NES um, back then I was a box collector um not mint in box but everything and tried to get like instructions and everything and uh, try and do as well as i could and yeah I, I got up to 200 boxed nes games and then i had other loose ones as well which i didn't even count towards my figure uh by then like he was picking up box games for like a five or a pop a pop it's uh, crazy how things have changed now uh, even when I sold it, I thought prices can't get any higher than this and obviously I think it's like quadrupled since then So yeah, sold that off decided I wasn't going to collect again and then yeah I've got even more shit than I had before but I promised myself I wouldn't go too crazy on the NES route this time I've been there done that. What's the point of doing it again? So I decided to change things up a little bit I now only collect American games, which I did collect American games before um but there was like a different sort of like tally um but yeah so i had some american games and i had some loose american games but that that is predominantly all i'm collecting now i don't want to go too crazy on the box route because again once that starts it's something that's hard to stop <laughs> so we're we're loose carts only try and stick american because it's it, i knew that it would restrict me to only getting games every so often rather than go too mad there isn't that many like good price listings on ebay ever at a time so yeah talking of what which what have i got so first up we have got a homebrew game uh, and it's one of the first uh, one of the first big homebrew games that i ever saw really for the nes uh, it was really well like advertised back in the day when it came out and it even spawned a sequel um, I had both of these boxed back in the day and I, I don't know why I sold them because the collector really wasn't, who bought them, really wasn't that bothered about them. Um, however, I was. I really like this game. It's sort of like a Mega Man style game, except it's like a screen at a time. Um, really hard, uh, but really quality game, really quality game. And I know, uh, who was it who made this? Um... The, the guy that does fact hunt he designed all the artwork and everything like that but yeah like i, I got this uh loose i really want to get the second one i've still not gone around i've still not completed it it's that hard it, it's really hard but i want to go back and complete this one day so we'll put that over there next up we have got gradius which actually this is a pal a game so need to probably separate these a little bit so if anyone's if anyone has an american version of any of the pal games i've got uh, let me know and we, we'll do a trade because I would rather have the American ones. Uh, but yeah, Gradius, this is a game I had as a kid. I can remember going out and getting it and just being so addicted to it and probably kick-started my love for shooters. Um, in fact, all of these are now, I think, these are the PAL games. So not Trojan, not the Condom, but the actual Capcom game. This plays really funky, but it's not a terrible game. It just, it's it's really good. Is it really good? No, it's not. I'm lying. But it's a good, it's not a bad game. Once you get used to the controls, I can remember them being really funky. But yeah, this is sort of like a Wizards and Warriors style, uh, medieval style game. Really cool. It, like the medieval style games were like really cool back then. Um, something that you don't really see anymore. Like it's very Wizards and Warriors, but like a little bit anime. And it's, it's kind of like a lost art style that you don't really see that often, unfortunately. I used to love it. Uh, next up, McDonald Land. Oh my god, I absolutely love this game. Probably more so on the Amiga. I really need to clean some of these down, actually. <laughs> That's the other thing about this uh, video. It reminds me of what I need to do. 
Uh, but yeah, parlay game of McDonald Land, sort of like Mario Free, except that you like can go upside down on the levels as well. Uh, really cool. Uh, again, a lot better than the Amiga. Uh, WWF WrestleMania Challenge. Um, I think I had this as a kid, but uh, I didn't really play it that much. It was I really preferred the Mass System and Mega Drive wrestling games, if I remember correctly. There was a lot better, like, uh, what's it called? Pro Wrestling and the Mass System, actually really good. Oh, Fidget wants to come say hello. Come down. But so, yeah, I, I can remember when I bought this. I got this from a car boot sale, and I paid, like, five quid for it, which probably scoffing now, but um, probably worth it now. But I can remember thinking, Jesus Christ, spending five quid at the car boot for a game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably, like I say, how things change. Next up, we've got Gremlins 2, also PAL game. Fantastic, sort of like isometric, sort of run and gun almost. Um, yeah, really cool game. Really recommend playing this. Again, this was back when sort of like um, franchises were actually good. Like there wasn't that many bad franchises back in the day. Next up, we've got Battle of Olympus. I really keep meaning to come and play this game. I've still not played it. I can remember watching a video back in the day about someone getting confused how to get past the first door because you have to go up and press up. <laughs> I think a button and up at the same time and they rated it really low and it always stuck with me. Uh, but yeah, this is sort of like a Zelda 2 style RPG. Um, next up, we've got Boy and His Blob. This game used to frustrate the hell out of me as a kid. I always used to love the look of it, but like when you picked up all the like, is it chewing gum that like used to change your powers? Um, yeah, <laughs> it just, I was like, well, what? Which one does what? And like my memory wasn't good enough, and I didn't couldn't be asked to write things down. So yeah, in fact, let's uh, turn these around, and then you can see the spinage. Spinage. Next up, we've got a very heavy metal style game, uh, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Like, I've played this so many times, and it's like, it's like a love-hate. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. I, it used to frustrate me the fact that you attack by headbanging into someone, because it just wasn't a very standardised game. But I suppose I started playing Shantae, and that plays very similar to this. <laughs> well, not very, not completely similar, but the same attack. Yeah, but... Kabuki Quantum Fighter brought the heavy metal headbanging attacking into gaming first. Uh, next up, we've got Bionic Commando, uh, which again, another parlay game. All these, like I say, if anyone's got American and want to swap, just let me know. Um, uh, but yeah, this game, again, another one of them like love hate kind of games. Um, it, I've got through quite far to it, I've never actually completed it. But it, I just want it to be a little bit faster. Uh, the fact that you can't actually jump again really frustrates me. But you can't deny that this is actually quite a good game. So yeah, I find it quite, again, frustrating ra rather than hard. Now, again, another really hard game. However, one that I absolutely, absolutely love. Uh, Snake, Rattle and Roll. I, I actually completed this uh, last year. Um, didn't put in 52 game challenge because I use save states uh, because Jesus Christ this game is so hard near the end <laughs> it really is uh, but yeah nonetheless it is a really good game so yeah this is on the uh, Xbox Rare Replay um, used to love this I can remember having multiple stickers of this for the uh, Nintendo sticker book and sticking them all over my room just because I love the game so much back in there next up we've got Power Blade on uh, the NES, obviously, on Palais. Uh, this is a quite a cool game. Uh, sort of another sort of like run and gun style game. Definitely record if you if you like that kind of game, like a action platformer. This is a game that and everyone probably should already know about anyway. It used to be talked about so much back in the day. And again, another classic. I, to be honest, I thought I upgraded this to an American one, uh, but obviously not. But yeah, Blaster Master, flipping it. The music on this is. I say it's nostalgic. It is now. I mean, this is the thing, right? I started collecting NES like over just over ten years ago, so it was like way after like the NES's reign, original reign. But w this is one of the first games I played, and I, I loved it. Um, like when I started collecting again. But like I say, that was over ten years ago. So realistically, yeah, I'm starting to get nostalgia for nostalgic things it's a bit of a weird conundrum isn't it really like you don't really think about like oh when you first started collecting you're getting nostalgic for that well yeah we've been doing it that long now it kind of is nostalgic isn't it really 
Anyway, philosophy of video games. <laughs> Isolated Warrior, absolutely another fantastic game. Um, isometric sh shoot 'em up. I say it's a fantastic game. It's very repetitive. It's not the best, but for the NES, this is quite different. Again, a game I never played as a kid, but like quite cool now. Um, next up, we have got uh, these are the American. Oh, hang on, we've got one more PAL game. We've got one more PAL game sticking here, but. This never came out in America, and it is Ghostbusters 2, the HAL Laboratories one. Now, again, never played this as a kid. I always knew that the uh, Ghostbuster games were terrible. So back then, even back then, like people knew how bad they were. Um, but yeah, this is actually a fantastic game. You control two of your characters at once, um, and you go around using one button for one character and one for the other that's got the trap. And again, sort of like plays like sort of like a isometric top down action RPG style game, but Ghostbusters really good. Uh, it's not too hard. I mean, you're not going to get through it on your first go, but after a couple of goes, um, you'll rinse through this and have a blast of the time. Again, you can actually play this two player as well with the two characters, but it's still quite fun on your own. So, oh, even more Palais games. We've got Tiny Toons Adventures. Uh, yeah. Um, I've not played this for a while, but yeah, this is basically Konami's version of Mario. <laughs> uh, so again, another Mario freestyle wannabe game. Uh, I think we're in American American territory now. Astaniax again. I remember, I remember it, but I can't fully remember. I think I've had, this is used to be one of them games that you got with every bundle, because uh, I used to get quite a lot of bundles from America as well. Um, and yeah, couple of quid game, <laughs> but it's not too bad. If I remember, it was like a platformer game. Now, this is one I wanted for the longest time and finally got it, never played it. <laughs> it's Pinball Quest. So this is like what I believe it's uh, well, we're back into Jellico games as well. Uh, this is sort of an RPG style pinball game. So you can see straight away why I would want to play. I love pinball games um, and I love RPG style games, um, but I've still not played this. So I got this off uh, Big Game Al. He got this through... Um, it's one that I had on my want list for the longest time. And he ordered a uh, pinball from CX and they sent this. So I just gave him what he paid and uh, I got it. Yeah. Simple as that, innit? So cheers for that, Al. Next up, we've got another homebrew. This I actually do have box because it's like a special edition game. Uh, this is Metal Storm. This is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> yeah, it's... The gameplay may be a little bit convoluted for what it is because it's not a straightforward run and gunner because you change the gravity, gav, gravity, gra, gravity, flipping heck, I can't speak. And I've got over COVID, I think. Oh, I thought I did. Uh, you change the gravity polarity uh, and you go up and down. Um, and yeah, it's really good. Um, however, like I say, because that's all the way through the game, it kind of, it's, it gets a bit too overly tricky and puzzly for it to be a fun run and gunner uh, now this one actually what it is it's the japanese version uh, we never got this in england as well it's the japanese version retranslated and put onto the uk one so it's actually i think even though it's japanese i believe it's a little bit easier if i remember and i think it's got extra cutscenes in it if i remember yeah really good game definitely recommend anyone getting that i think it's like over 100 quid if you was to buy the car properly um and to be honest i'd imagine that's probably gone up a little bit more now as well because people like these special editions in fact let's put battle kid there next up we've got zexy 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 x e x y z oh my god i'd love to see it. i'll you need to do a quick short on how to say this name love to see it <laughs> but yeah this is a really cool fun platformer hudson soft really don't fail with what they do i've had that a couple of times never again never completed it next up we've got dj hero for the nes <laughs> now this i've had for years um i actually designed all of this label myself all the way from like getting all like everything on there so this is fully custom to me because <laughs> i'm a well back then he used to be quite a bit of a dj um and yeah i just use a bookie o'hara car and uh took the label off and put this one on because again like i say carts back then were ten a penny so it didn't really matter 
Uh, next up, we've got Mylan's Secret Castle. Uh, again, another cool little platformer. Again, it's like kind of like the really traditional style platformer. Again, quite puzzly. This spawned a few sequels that was... I can't remember the names of them now, because obviously why would I remember things when I'm doing a video? Because, yeah, research isn't my thing. But yeah, <laughs> um, I played it a couple of times. Uh, never really loved it, but again, it was quite cheap. Uh, Section Z or the section Z. Um, this is like a cool shooter, sort of like multi-directional sort of shooter. One that I've never really got on with too much, but never really hated. I, I'm just thinking, when I had a bit of a pause then, I was thinking, do you know what? I need to play this. Again, that one, that one you can get in PAL territories. Uh, one that's an American exclusive, Rampage. Absolutely love this on the mass system. And I don't know why I've not played this. Um, I've started a new shift pattern and uh, I'm feeling a lot more like playing retro games. I'm going to have an NES day soon because I need to play all of these. This one, I am absolutely kicking myself. I've still not played yet. And it's Willow. I've owned this a couple of times. I've even had it boxed in the past. And yeah, a Capcom sort of like uh, adventure NES sort of Zelda style game uh, based on the film. And yeah, it looks fantastic. I think it's only like a two or three hours completion. So it's not like it's going to take up so much time. And I don't believe it's that hard. But yeah, it's one that I've wanted to play for the longest time, but just never did. Uh, next up, we've got Legacy of Wizard. Again, played this. Got a little bit disappointed. I wanted this to be a bit more, very much like an 8-bit micro style game. Um, I, again, I think this might have actually spawned a few extra sequels um along the way that just called something else next up uh realistically i need to get a sleeve for this one so we've got turtles 2 the arcade game fantastic little running little brawler the reason why i need to have that is because i've got the instructions as well um yeah so again you can get this on pal but there is actually a third one and it is a lot better than this uh it's called mutants in manhattan need to get that back because i used to have it back in the day and had so much fun with that game I, I prefer it to this one maybe because i played this in the arcades a lot and it was great but this didn't really kind of match it whereas the third one was made for the nes so it is definitely worth going playing and definitely playing uh the sort of a, a rom emulation there as, as any way you can play it just play it so a lot of people don't understand why turtles in time is turtles 4 at least in the uk because the turtles 3 never came out over here so it was like how is it skipped from 2 to 3 just at uh, 2 to 4 it just really confused me i was like what happened to 3 <laughs> again it was only when i started collecting that i found out about it next up we have got ultima uh, exodus um, I'm not too sure if this is the first one or not. This kind of was just bought as a sort of like, because it was cheap. I think it was like seven or eight quid. Um, sort of bought as a nod to Final Fantasy. I know like the Final Fantasy people said that they took a lot of inspiration off this. A very old school turn-based RPG. Next up, we've got a very battered. <laughs> it needs it. Well, it's not very bad, but it is a, could do with a bit of a cart replacement. Um, Ninja Gaiden. I'm just kind of hoping if I've got Ninja Gaiden 2 because I've passed up on that a couple of times. Uh, again, what's this called? This is called Ninja Shadow, is it? Shadow Shadow Ninja? This is called something completely different in the UK. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when, when, when you first started collecting and watching all these videos, it's like, what's this Ninja Gaiden game? Or at least people did back in the day. Uh, still never completed this game. Still never completed it. Uh, next up, Narc. Now, this game is just fucking weird. <laughs> uh, I've not played the NES version, and again, I kind of want to. Uh, the arcade was like a digitized sort of run and gun, um, sort of like an isometric style run and gun where you can run up, walk up and down. Um, sort of like a brawler, but with a shooter. Yeah, I'm making no sense again. But I'm thinking, paired down to 8 bit graphics, I think it's and not as crazy as the arcade. I've got a feeling this could be quite a good game. But I'm also feeling I could be completely wrong. <laughs> uh, next up we've got Fester's Quest. Uh, now this was a trade with uh, Wahaha. Um, I gave him my UK one and he gave me an American one. So uh, yeah, that's what I mean. It all works out in the end, doesn't it really? Because 
not that many people want the American games, but I really do. Um, but yeah, people complain about this game. Is it terrible? It's not the best game, but it's not the worst. I mean, it's made by Sunsoft, so obviously it's great. In fact, you'll quite see a bit of a theme here. A lot of the games I've got are either Sunsoft or Konami and Capcom. Here's another Sunsoft game, Return of the Joker Batman. Now, this one I can remember being really hard to uh, get boxed at least um, on the UK side. So, um, yeah, really good. I've not, not really put as much time into this as the first one, um, but I really want to get the first one again back into my life. Um, as a Castlevania fan, I don't know why I've not got all these again, but I've only got Simon's Quest. So, eventually, I will get all three. I, I, I've The third one is my favourite. That one's actually quite good. But you just quite, kind of got to see some of the sort of, like, secrets. You would never be able to just complete it without, like, reading about some of the, like, weird places. You've got to crouch. And it slows it down by changing the day and night cycle. But, not a bad game. I don't know. What, I, I can remember playing it and I was, like, really blown away. Uh, Friday the 13th. Really cool platformer. It's, I can't remember, it. I always confuse this one and another, like, horror-based one. Uh, but, yeah, both really cool games. Not the best, um, but not as bad as LGN makes it out to be. Um, Adventure Island, obviously, this is Hudson Soft's version of Wonder Boy, except it then becomes a little bit better, I think. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, Steve. Um but yeah, I actually really like this game. I find it a little bit easier than Wonder Boy as well. But it's still quite... I, I find them games really brutal. <clears throat> Next up, as a Castlevania fan, everyone's got to have eight eyes. So this is a complete Castlevania rip-off. Really good game. Again, I used to have this box back in the day. Because like I say, I was a big Castlevania fan. Uh, so this is one of the games I needed to get back straight away in my life. We never got this in the UK. But I think this is actually on the EverDrive. Is it not the Everdrive? The Evercade? <laughs> so yeah, there is ways to play this. It's not, obviously it's not as good as Castlevania. Of course it's not. I mean, who's it by? Taxan. So yeah, obviously it's not going to be, don't think of it as something amazing, but yeah, it's still good. Prison of War, SNK game. Um, this is, I can't remember how good this one is, but basically it's sort of like a run and gun. Um, con not Contra. What's the other? one but yeah commando style game but yeah really good to get i look i want to get all the snk games as well uh next up we've got deja vu another again most of these didn't come out in the uk although that did come in pal pal was like australian um so obviously big game i'll never had that one because he, he didn't he cheated with his full set <laughs> sorry out Next up, we've got Deja Vu. Now, I've, I think this might have come out on Pal B territories, or at least this is like a trilogy of sort of like point and click style games on the Amiga, although it's it's almost like a um, text adventure point and click like mixed together. Um, yeah, I, I've heard a lot of good things about that one. Again, Iron Tank, um, a bit like Jackal, I suppose, the SNK version of Jackal. This game, <laughs> look at it, it's beating up to hell. But I kind of like that. It does work, and that's all that counts. Next up, we've got Faxanadu. Uh, did a trade with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nafe Retro 1 with this one. So thanks for that, Nafe. Um, this is, again, another one I really want to play. This is another sort of Zelda 2 style RPG. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick one on board. Godzilla, I actually bought this from CX hoping for a UK one because I was kind of thinking about getting UK, but no, this is a sort of like one on one fire. Is it good? It's not terrible, actually. It's not terrible. There is worse games. And now, this is this one's quite a cool one. Uh, this is King's Knight. This is one of Square's like uh, original games on the NES, um, sort of like a shooter, sort of like an, uh, an RPG. It's like a scrolling game. Uh, like a shooter however it's got like a lot of like uh, leveling up sort of mechanics as well really cool although you've got to really know you, you can't again one of these games that you can't beat the first time because you kind of got to know where certain I items and pickups are so yeah one to go back and play again 
Oh, we've got another Palais game, but this one is an exclusive Palais game. Uh, and it's, why am I holding the light? Noah's Ark. So this is a really strange game. A Konami release, very much a Euro game. Um, you'll hear, like, you know a Euro European style release because the music's sort of like arpeggiated. Um, it kind of like repeats itself. It's very, I mean, once you hear the sound, you'll understand what I mean. Um, very, very European. And the gameplay is very much like that as well scrolling levels platformer scrolling levels you start i think the first level you start going left uh no right to left it's, it's very backwards um so it kind of throws you off to start with and the the firing weapon like kind of like goes up and down so it's like takes a while to get used to it but really cool game again i found this really hard to find boxed back in the day but i believe it's not as it's not as hard to find anymore uh, one of the early black box games slalom one i don't think i think this was maybe pal b maybe but we didn't get this in pal a territories really cool uh early sort of skiing sim not actually that bad quite quite a bit of funny 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 yeah, quite a bit of funny uh next up two more left two more we've got burger time another game that we never got i i don't mind burger time it's not my favorite game but i do have a bit of fun of it and to be honest i've not played the nes version i keep meaning to and next up we've got metroid and we've got the uh, second version of it it's not the uh, the black box style in the silver the black silver box um you know what i mean if you if you collect the games but yeah this is one i had as a kid again one i needed to get back in my life as i really i love metroid it's it's kind of spawned my favorite style of gaming sort of like action platformer but then with a bit of exploration as well so it's not just straightforward you go from a to b there is more to it than that uh yeah this this kind of is my favorite genre even over shooters although shooters are just great to put on just for five minutes so it's hard it's a mixture between this and shooters but yeah this is my uh, nes collection there is loads more obviously i need to add into there it's a slow process I can play them all on EverDrives. I'm not in any rush, but when I see bargains, I will always pick them up, especially if they're American. So anyway, thanks for watching. Is there any games in there that kind of caught your eye? Any that you've never seen before? Any of your favorites? Any that I should pick up? Anyway, I thought I'd add something a bit spicier to the end of my videos because, I don't know, 2022, new me. Might even start a Patreon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.